It takes about seven impressions before somebody begins to associate your name with what you do or what you stand for. The wild statistic is the people that give up at four. Welcome to Be Bold Branding, where we discuss the power of differentiating yourself through your own unique story and standout personal brand. So today we're going to talk about one of our favorite subjects. It's called marketing doesn't work. We hear it if, all the time. If you were in business, if you started a lemonade stand when you were a kid in your neighborhood, you learned then that marketing doesn't work. That's you right. Did. No That's matter right. how much time you spent on that sign. Because as a kid, you didn't even know how to brand yourself. But hey, today we're going to learn a lot about why it's not working. Okay. If it's not working for you, you're going to find out why. Not only that, you're going to find out how to fix it. So most important. Exactly. There are four things actually that I learned throughout all of my years in the media business about why marketing doesn't work when it doesn't work, which is a lot. <laughs> so, you know, in order to be successful, your marketing has to be right, has to present the right message and image to the right people at the right time, enough times. Mm -hmm. I actually came up with those four sequences years ago because I got tired of hearing about the failures too. Mm -hmm. And I realized there are a lot of things that have to come together in order to make a marketing campaign produce very successful results. And it's those four, yep. the right message and image to the right people at the right time, enough times. Two of those are about marketing, but the other two, are about branding. More important. More important. So what's the difference? Let's start out there. The difference between marketing and branding. Marketing is simply putting a message and image out there to the world, to your prospect, using different marketing platforms or systems, right? So it might be billboards, it might be radio ads, it could be Facebook ads, Google ads, postcards, you name it, okay? But the message and image that you put out there that is your brand. And that's mm -hmm. why two of those, the message and image and the right people belong to the branding category, yep. but right place enough times, those belong to the marketing category. Okay. Yeah. So, so we, let's look at the four things that are necessary to make marketing work a little closer, right? The right people. Okay. In order to develop a message and image that attracts the right people, you need to know who the right people are. It's very important. Who are you speaking to? And then learn what that means to them. Defining your ideal customers is what we call that. And to do that, we look at four different pieces of criteria when we help clients decide where they're going to go at that. And it's called the HEAP formula. It's uh, exclusive to us. And the first one is pick customers that you can help. That's the most important thing, right? Identify customers that you know your expertise can help. The second thing is you want to sit down and put serious thought in the people you enjoy working with. It's very important, guys. We don't get into business to really hate our job every day. We get in our business to enjoy what we do for a living. OK, the third one is somebody that appreciates the work that you do. We all like I'm in real estate business, so we are all are in like if we're in the real estate business. We've had clients that knew so much more than we will ever know, no matter how many deals we've done. Right. They've only done two. We've done thousands, but they'll never they'll always know more than us. Right. And there are people that won't appreciate the work that you did. We have that. Why would you attract that? You don't want to attract that. You don't want to advertise for that. So be think of all the people you've worked with that really, truly love your expertise. Those are the people you want to go after. And then finally, the P is profitable. There's nothing wrong with making profit, guys. And you will find that making profit is easy when you are helping people that can be helped. You're working with people that enjoy you will enjoy work with and the people that appreciate what you do. Yep. And those four criteria help everybody that's ever gone through our program to decide who their ideal customer is. It's, yep. it's a simple formula, very simple. The second thing, or, uh, you know, the second of the four parts that are critical for our successful marketing is a message and image. So mm -hmm. your message and image really depends on two things. OK, first, your ideal customers, because you want to make sure that your message and image is one that is catering to trying to attract making sense to those customers that you find through your heap criteria to select those ideal customers. Second, it's what sets you apart both professionally and personally. And if that appeals to the ideal customers, then you've got that magic formula. 
And yep. so that's pretty much as simple as it is. Now, when we say simple, we actually look at 77 different criteria when we help brand somebody. And that encompasses your ideal customer and the right message and image that we're you know, creating for you that is authentic to you as well. So it's not just like snap your fingers and you have a new brand tomorrow. Right. It is a process. And if you're going to do it right, if you're going to expect the all of the investment that you make in your marketing to work and to get an amazing return on your money, then you're going to want to take the time that it takes to do the branding. Absolutely. All right. So the next part that's important is your advertising has to hit at the right time. Now this probably goes without saying, right? You would think, you know, timing is everything. Like being in the right place at the right time can be superb for a lot of people. It's how Willie Nelson got to start, right? You know what I mean? Like timing has a lot to do with things, but if you're marketing at the wrong time, what's happening? You're wasting your money. That's why marketing doesn't work. So an example that Tanya taught me a long time ago was if you want to sell, if you want to rent bicycles or sell bicycles, you probably don't want to be in the New England states in the winter time, right? Because you probably are wasting your money advertising out there to people to come and rent or buy one of your bicycles in December. and take a super nice <laughs> stroll around. It, so you got to do the right time. But if you take that same marketing and you put that marketing out pre-spring, now you're not mm -hmm. wasting your money so much. So remember, it has to be the right time. And, and then the final one is enough times. And I can't say enough about this. You can't say enough, enough. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You want to make sure you put your message and image out there enough times. So one great example is we had some clients who said, hey, we sent out a postcard to 10,000 people and we didn't get any response. We said, how many did you send out? They said 10,000. And we said the magic question, how many times did you send that out? Oh, it was just once. The frequency is not there, guys. It's not right. there. And we would rather that person send to a thousand different people 10, ten times, times because the results would be far, far better to yep. do that. So, And it's the same cost. It, exactly. It's the same cost. So, But you're impacting those smaller amount of people more times. Think about it. It takes an average, according to several different resources that I've pulled on this um, stat, it takes about seven impressions before somebody begins to associate your name with what you do or what you stand for. And, you know, that's a statistic right there that's amazing because, you know, there's a lot of statistics out there. I love statistics. I'll sling statistics in a heartbeat, you know, but they say a lot of statistics are made up on the spot. I, I would challenge anybody to go out into every marketing book known to man and find where anybody disagrees that you have got to touch somebody seven times before they start to associate who you are and what you do. Seven times is in every book. It's in every marketing book I've ever read. It's in every blog I've ever read. It's in every YouTube video I've ever watched. Anybody that deals with marketing, that statistic stays the same all the time, all the time, all the time. The wild statistic is the people that give up at four. Exactly. Or right? worse yet one. Because right? people like five times is when you only start to see it. Right. Seven times is when it starts to happen and you know, on a regular reoccurring basis. And then the more you do, then the more it comes from that. Uh, but I think it's interesting to bear that every statistic that I've ever seen has always backed that seven constantly. Mm -hmm. right? So let's recap these for you guys. So the reason your marketing is failing is these four reasons. Okay. Number one, you don't have the right people dialed in. You don't have an ideal customer in mind. You're trying to be everything to all people. And that's always a recipe for failure. Mm -hmm. Okay. The second thing is your message and image isn't dialed in. That's really one of the most important things. Mm -hmm. What sets you apart? What's your story? Why should people do business with you? What will it mean to them if they do? OK, and then at the right time, most businesses have some amount of cyclical nature to them. Right. You don't always for every industry want to advertise 24 seven, 365 days a year. Sometimes it makes more sense to do it in the cyclical nature that follows the business. Right. And then finally, put your message out there enough times the repetition and the consistency. I would put both those words in that category consistency, your favorite thing, repetition, yes. consistency. If you don't have it, you might as well just stop. You might as right. well save your money because you're consistently and repeatedly wasting it. Exactly. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> okay. 
Well, that's it for today, guys. If you have questions about your brand, want to learn more about us, head to discussyourbrand.com and schedule a free 30-minute session with uh, some of our team. And we'll talk to you about what your goals and challenges are, see what it's going to take to get you that brand and message and image that you deserve. And the business that comes with it, which is very important, all right? Very much. Hey, listen, guys, it's all about prosperity. And when we say that, we're not just talking about money. We're talking about the full 360 of an abundant life, which we truly wish for every one of you. We know here at Brandface that prosperity favors the bold. So we say be bold, especially with your brand and especially in 2021. And thank you, Ms. Tanya. Thank you, Michael. All right, guys, have a great day and Bye, be bold guys. about it. Bye. Brought to you by Brandface, the only comprehensive personal brand building system across the globe.